Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you my top 10 keyboards for Android and I'm demonstrating this on my Galaxy Note and in this video I'm just gonna demonstrate the interface of the keyboard only you can just go on through the settings of all the keyboards from the settings menu and you can customize your keyboard for your language, appearance and so on like that okay so the first one in my list is the AI type keyboard plus you can do all the settings for this keyboard uh, from this settings menu you can also change the appearance you can get themes online you know you can do your personal selections for even for language a font size and so on you can go ahead and check it out so just showing you the keyboard now okay so this is the AI type keyboard you can also resize it so that's really good and you get a prediction text of VR and you say you type something and now you can you know just go back and go ahead uh, move up or move down if you have more text you know just to edit the text you can do stuff like undo or redo and you know you get this uh, options like cut copy paste and etc you also have this uh, alphabet over here and if you want to switch to numbers and symbols you can just press this button and you have the all the numbers over here and the symbols so that's my number one so guys the next one in my list is the go keyboard Okay, so there you have it. Yeah, uh, the keyboard is really simple, looks really classic. You get these big buttons, really clear. You can also hide your keyboard by just uh, pressing this button. Okay, it's hidden now. Again, you tap to the blank screen, you'll get your keyboard back. And this will give you a list of options, you know. You can add any emotions, emote icons. You get themes for keyboards online. And you also get the predicted text at the top. So, this keyboard is really good. Okay, so the third one on my list is the Jelly Bean Keyboard Pro. So just to show you. So generally you have this keyboard on AOSP or AOKP ROMs. They're very simple. You don't get the number icon over here you know, at the top. You have to press this button to get the number and the symbol icon. The keyboard is really really simple. Very good. And even the color and the, you know, everything dark style it's really good and you get the predicted text over here so the next one in my list is the slide it keyboard okay this is the slide it keyboard uh, looks really cool now just to show you how this works there you go the number four in my list is the Smart Keyboard Pro. So this is the Smart Keyboard and it looks really smart, really good, good interface. The color is pretty good as well, pretty much like the iPhone. Okay, so you have these uh, numbers and icons over here. And other than that, pretty much the same, everything is pretty simple. So guys, the next one in my list is the Swift Key 3. I'm just going back and showing you the interface. Okay, there you have it. The buttons are really big, really cool, looks good. When you press any button, you know, the color changes, it turns to blue, that's really good, looks good. You have this uh, icons and numbers over here, and, and with this keyboard, you know, you can see that the number pad is in the left side, and the icons and the symbols are on the right side, and it's uh, really easier to use. And you can also get shortcut smileys and emotions by just you know pressing and holding this button there you have it yep. so that's pretty much it the next one in my list is the touchpad keyboard for the first time when you use this keyboard you'll get a tutorial on how to use it and that will teach you how to use this keyboard and this keyboard is really really good you get symbols over here and numbers over here and you can turn on or turn off your prediction do your settings for your keyboard you get a lot of settings for this touch pal keyboard you can also copy paste your things you can use enable swipe options with this keyboard so the keyboard is really good that's pretty much it so guys the next one in my list is the thumb keyboard this keyboard is designed for a single hand use you can set it for your right hand or your left hand on the settings menu other than that it's like the same with what you get with the other keyboards the next one in my list is the gingerbread keyboard. 
Okay, there you have it. Very, very simple. And um, it's uh, kind of old, but still very simple to use. You don't get the numbers on the top. You have to press this one, two, three icon. And then you'll get these numbers and symbols. You also have the settings menu for this uh, keyboard. And the keyboard is really, really simple. And the last one in my list is the emoji keyboard. So guys, this is the emoji keyboard. And actually this uh, keyboard is uh, really popular for, you know, placing the smileys and emotion icons. Like just say, placing any symbols. You get really cool symbols with this uh, keyboard. That's really good. And, uh, okay, there you have it. You can see the symbols, really good. I'm going back. You also have uh, lots of smileys and emote icons. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay subscribed. Bye bye now and have a good day.